Amara La Negra, and I'm going to show you how to achieve this look. So today is my first time doing my uh, makeup tutorial. I know that a lot of people are like, oh my God, you have flawless skin, blah, blah, blah. I guess I kind of do, but the truth of the matter is that makeup really does help a lot. So the first thing you have to do is prime your skin. You know, prime and moisturize and all that stuff, which in real life is a terrible thing because I really don't be doing that. Oh my God, this is my first time doing this. I'm so excited. Oh my God, if you guys do your makeup like me, let me know. So here's one thing. Juvia has so many different colors for all the complexions. Like they have every single color you can think of. And then to me, it's like, how do I know what color is good for me? So sometimes you have to buy a couple, but it's not a terrible thing because I feel that the skin needs several different tones of makeup. You can't just use one foundation for everything. Let's see which one works for me. Over here, I have the car. I have to Togo, or in Espanol, Togo. You know what I'm saying? Entonces, we have Kenya. This is the car. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit here in my hand. Boom. You see it right there? One of the things that I love about uh, Juvia's Place Makeup is that they've really thought it through, and every single foundation has a name of a different country or a different place or something that's related to Africa, and I love that. So these are the colors, and they look kind of similar. But when you put them on, it's actually a little bit different. One may have a little bit more of a reddish tone, a darker. So how am I supposed to apply this? I don't get it. Okay, so look. Usually, you go to a, a, a you know makeup place, and then they have all these brushes. And I don't know what brush to use. It's like there's a thousand of them, and they all look the same to me. So I am going to get Togo, and I am going to squirt it right in here. I am going to start applying all over my face. You dab it in there. Bum, 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 bum. And here we go. Is there such a thing as too much foundation? Like, you're, you OD on the foundation. You're supposed to go a little light. Guys, by the way, you don't want to go up when you do your makeup because of your pores. You only want to go up when you're cleaning your face off from the makeup. So you kind of want to go down. See what I'm doing right here? Look, blend it down. Okay? Blend it down. Oh my God, you see? It's like really smooth and creamy. So it goes everywhere in there. And you might want to do your lips too. It's okay if your lips look a little, a little brown or all together even, because you just want to make sure that you cover everything. Voila. Step number one. Step number two. What's step number two? That's right. Step number two is the concealer. These are the I Am Magic concealers. Um, we have number nine, 10, and 11. This is number nine. And I've always wondered too, how do you know what concealer is best? Because sometimes you get them too light and then it makes you look like a ghost. And then sometimes you get them too dark and then you don't see any highlight. Then what was the point of using it? So you have, this is number 10. Can you guys see it right there? All right. And number 11. And another thing too, I'm sorry, I have a lot of makeup questions. Questions. Sorry, I'm back. <clears throat> um, how many concealers are you supposed to use? Because I've worked with a lot of makeup artists and sometimes they use more than one. Which one you think works best? We have number 9, 10, and 11. How do I know? I don't know. I'm about to try them all. It depends how bright you want to go. If you want something lighter and brighter, then you pick a lighter color. And if you want something more natural, which I never do, then you pick something a little bit darker. I always feel like makeup is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to have fun with makeup, so have fun with it. All right, so we're gonna get another brush. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, I don't know. Look, okay, I'm just gonna grab one of these. If you have one of these, just squeeze it in your face. Okay, so I'm gonna use number nine. I think the number nine is a pretty nice color for me. You definitely wanna do your nose because you know <laughs> what a nose contouring. Um, you do your chin, right? I've seen this on the videos. You do under the eye, on the nose, um, in the forehead. Oh no, let me make it pretty. Okay, boom, boom. Wait, that's not very pretty. The point is that you get what I'm doing. And then, what about here? You put a little bit in here. I don't know why, but I just be watching them do it, so I wanna do it too. What about in here a little bit? Just a little bit, bum, bum, bum. Not too much, but... When you get a beauty blender, you put a little bit of water just to make it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, squishy and stuff. And then you start like, just beat your face with it, literally. Just beat it. Beat it till you can't see it. Beat it till you can't see it. I said, beat it till you can't see it. What? Beat it till you can't see it. <laughs> this is the shape stick. Shade, oh, So, after you use your concealer, you wanna use a shade stick. You usually wanna go a couple of shades darker. It really depends on how snatched you wanna look like. If you really wanna look like this, 
Then you want to go a little bit darker and make sure to go right under the cheek. You know, the, what is this called, right? The cheek. Aquí mismo, you know what I'm saying? The point is that look at me. This is what you're going to do. You're going to open the thingy majiggy, swirl it up, swirl it up, swirl it. Not too much, because you don't want to break it. You have to take care of these products. So then, you go right in here. Ah! Oh my God, am I too dark? And the jawline. Look, this is how I do it, okay? I don't know about you, but this is what works for me. Oh, and then you go in here too. Oh my God, look at me doing makeup, yes. And then you do your forehead a little bit. Boom. I think that's good enough, right? Because like I said, this makeup is very high on pigment and it's very high on everything. So you could use just a little bit and it really does go a long way. I'm gonna use this one. Cause this one has like a, I don't know, it's kind of like diagonal. So it almost makes me feel like it's gonna go up. So let's work on that. You know what I'm saying? You dig in here. Mm -hmm. Look, I didn't even try it too hard and you can tell the difference already. Look, you see that? You see how it's a little bit dark in here? And then it makes your cheek look a little bit higher. That's what exactly what you're supposed to be trying to do. If you feel that you have a double, a double chin like me, I'm frustrated with it. You can do your jawline and just go down right there. Just like that. Nose. Chin, cheeks, we good. Um, and then uh, maybe on top of that, you might be able to just blend it in together with your beauty blender. Actually, I look very natural. I didn't go too hard. I didn't snatch myself too much. Cause this is like my everyday look. Like I don't, I don't want to look like I'm trying too hard. So this is just me being naturally beautiful. Ah, let's go through the process. We did our foundation, then we used our concealer, then we used our shade stick to also go under the jaw, under the cheeks over here, a forehead and a, and a like right, you know, next to the nose. So your nose can look like this, snap. Over here we have the I Am Magic setting powder. It's what they call baking. Um, I've always wondered too, how do I know what color of, of, you know, powder I'm supposed to use, but I'm just gonna try. So you have the setting powder. In this case, I am gonna use Gobi. What you don't wanna do is use too much. If you use too much, girl, you're gonna go out here in these streets looking crazy. Now, just a little bit, and then you just like, pump, 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 let it go, because then it could be too much, and then you're gonna dab it in there. Oh yeah, beat that face, beat that face, girl. Dab it in a little bit, and beat it up again. Beat it up, beat it up. Chin, nose a little bit, right there, boom. And then you wanna do your forehead too. In my case, my forehead gets really shiny. So just so that we're clear, we go under the eye, Right in the nose, right, just one line right in the nose, in the chin, and in the forehead. And then we let it bake. We let it sit. Why are we letting it sit? I don't know. Oh my God. Do you see me? What just happened? Do I look beautiful? Oh my God, I just shocked myself when I saw myself in the mirror. Has that ever happened to you that you just looked at yourself and be like, oh my God, is this me? Wow, you're beautiful. Blending well. I, I hate to see girls that are beautiful and don't know how to blend, like me. I could not just say that. If you don't have a primer, you can use a little bit of concealer as your primer. You know, not too much. Boom, one dot. Boom, the other. And that's it. You know, I be getting excited when I start to look at myself. Yes! Girl, you did that. Okay, no, look at me. So, now I am gonna use this palette called Chocolates. Chocolates. Do you know how to say it in Spanish and English? Chocolates. Um, I love this pa this um, eyeshadow palette because it has these really nice chocolatey colors. You know, I'm a chocolate queen. If you don't know how to do your makeup and you don't have that type of time, look, all you gotta do is get a shimmery one. It doesn't matter. Tap it in there, okay, girl? Just tap it in there. Not too much, because you don't want to mess it up, but just tap, tap, tap. And then go all over the eye. Oh, actually, I might need a little more. Go all over the eye, and then you also want to use a color for your crease, yeah? Because, you know, the crease just is good for the eye. Even though the crease don't work for everybody, right? Because it all, it all depends on the shape of your eye. I naturally have really big uh, eyelids, so I can take a lot of makeup. And then sometimes I'll be looking draggy because I like to OD. But makeup is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to try every single color. In the beginning, when I used to see, um, I've always been a fan of Juvia's Place makeup. And I used to see their Instagram and I was like, oh my God, look at all these bright colors that they're using. I don't know how to do that. But then I realized makeup is supposed to be fun. Just try different things. You can always wipe it off if you don't like it, but you can always try. But then you're gonna get a darker color for your crease. You're gonna 
tap that in a little bit, right? And then you're gonna start from the corner in. From the corner in, kind of like a semicircle. Oh my God, listen to me like I'm a professional. I'm not, but okay, you know I be trying. Entonces, this is how they do it. You go from the bottom out, and then sometimes you can swiggle it around in a circle, boom, 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 just to make sure that it blends in good, or you could just in and out, in and out. See, how simple was that? Super cute, and I'm not even trying too hard. Oh my God, how was that? How do I look? Decent? Do I look chocolatey? You may be able to use a lighter one to go inside your eye, right in the corner, right? You go inside the corner just to make your eye pop and look a little bit bigger and wide awake. You can also use whatever dark color you use for your crease. You can use it for the bottom of your eye. I might not be using the right brush. I think I'm not. Look, this is way too many brushes for me, okay? But you, you use what you can. Okay, so you get a little brush and then you go under the eye, right in there. But you go under the eye with whatever dark color you have. Usually you also want to be able to put um, eyeliner, mascara, all that good stuff. I am a fan of doing a pop of color inside the eye. That's always fun. So this is like a little quick tutorial, right? Boom. Now we're gonna go into the blush and this is Bella. Or in Espanol, Bella, no? So if we're gonna open it up, this is the color that we're gonna go with today for me, even though they have all types of colors, you know, more red, more pinky, uh, lighter, darker, they have it all. Tap, tap, tap. Why do they always blow it? Well, look, I'm dark skinned, so I want you to be able to see that I have blush on, okay? And then you might wanna smile a little bit. Give me that phony smile you'll be giving your phony friends. <laughs> and that's the best place so that you can really see where you should be putting in your blush. So you're gonna tap it. Blend that in, boom, boom. Not too much, not too much. You don't wanna be looking like a clown, but you do wanna be able to, you know, show that you, so when you smile, it's like, <laughs> you see that? You see that cut? Then you most definitely want to use your highlighter. This is the Tribe Highlighter Volume One by Juvia. Um, let's open it. Ta-da! Look, if I had to get one more brush, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. Ling, 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 ling. All right, so we're gonna use this brush. Oh my God. I'm always kind of scared of using highlight because I don't know. I be, I be just doing too much. Is there such a thing as too much highlight? Okay, yes there is, okay? Look, if you go outside and your face looks like, oh, like you're like the sun, like you're too bright, like there's no, then you need to take some, some highlight off. And another thing to making your highlight good is blending it in well. Blend it in. You shouldn't be able to see like a whole line of highlight. You see how I'm doing it? You see how you can see a little bit, but not too much. Exacto. You also want to use a little bit in your chin. Just not too much, you see? Oh my God, don't, don't do this. Don't, don't do that. Pero que blend it in. And sometimes you use your fingers too. Oye, me look, okay? No it's a makeup tutorial, but okay. There's nothing better than your fingers. Cause back in the days, before all the brushes came, people used to use their fingers too, too. And then you can use your finger also to do the tip of your nose, right? And right up in here. And blend it out. I don't know if I did too much, but the point is I look glowy. Oh, and you know what you can use your highlight too? It's a little bit of highlighter in your brow bone, um, right in here, boom. I don't know why, but I just be watching that they do it, so I wanna do it too. God, I need to get my eyebrows done. But okay, don't judge me. Last but not least, oh no, last but not least, no, I'm still missing my lashes and uh, lipstick. What color lipstick should I do? What color lipstick do you think would go good with this chocolatey goddess, bronzy, goldish vibe? So I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll be right back. Watch this. And we're back, look at this. Lashes on, lashes on. All right, so um, the last step to this makeup tutorial after my lashes is my lip. I actually wasn't really sure if I should do this darker, burgundy-ish -ish -ish kind of lipstick or maybe go red. What do you guys think? This one or that one? This one or that one? I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with a darker color. Actually, who knows, I may be able to use both. If you're not very good at using lip liner, sometimes my, you know, my bootleg version is to use the same lipstick to kind of make it as clean as possible into my lip liner because I wasn't sure which color I wanted to use, I am actually gonna use both. 
I'm gonna use this one as my lip liner. And then now I'm gonna use the red one inside. Let's see how that turns out. So I use Tate 2 as the lip liner, kind of like for my ombre. And this one is Afric. Afric is the red. You're gonna put just a little bit inside. Mm. And you can also use a brush to also clean and blend in the lip. Kind of like this. Oh my God, look, my lips look like a little heart. After you blend, remember to do this with your lips. It just makes you look sexier. You be watching, you know what I'm saying? Boom. And this was my makeup tutorial with Juvia's Play. I hope the tribe enjoyed it.